Abbott, and we often hear these days about uh, the power of positive thinking. Usually this focuses on what it can do for the individual. But now a Russian scientist says it can also benefit the world around us. RT's Sarah Firth looks at the science behind the claims. Can you directly influence the world around you with just the power of your mind? Although it might sound far-fetched, a leading Russian scientist believes we can do exactly that. And using a device that photographs human energy fields, he's attempting to prove it. We are developing idea that our consciousness is an active part of our material world. And with our consciousness, we can directly influence our world. To bridge our understanding of the unseen world of energy, scientific experiments are carried out using a technique called bioelectric photography. The assumption is that we're constantly emitting energy. Now, bioelectric photography works to capture this energy field that's seen as a light around the body, or what some people would call your aura. Discovered in the 1930s by Russian inventor Semyon Kurlian, he realized that stimulating a subject with a short electrical impulse, you get a burst of light of photons and electrons around the subject. It looks like aura, but I don't like this word because it has some metaphysical meaning. I prefer the word uh, energy field. The device itself photographs each finger individually, with different fingers responsible for different parts of the body, and feeds the information into a computer to interpret. One supposed benefit of this technique is early diagnosis of serious illnesses like heart disease and cancer. But some who work in the mainstream medical profession remain unconvinced. From the point of view of today's medicine, I don't think this can be used as medical evidence. And I would even go further and say that it's harmful rather than harmless, as it diverts people from the true causes of their illness and from the truly effective treatment. And some of the claims in energy field research are even more far-reaching. With our emotions, with our intentions, we can directly influence our environment, our space. Of course, this idea is absolutely new. <laughs> That's why it has a lot of criticism still. It has a very important message for all of us. Because we demonstrated that the positive emotions, they have very strong influence. But the same and even more strong influence has negative emotions. But in one case, energy comes up, in another case, comes down. So it means that if we are developing in ourselves ability to create love, to create positive emotions. We change the space around ourselves. The idea that our personal energy can change the structure of the world around us is viewed by many with deep skepticism. But in the sphere of bioelectrophotography, work continues to find scientific proof for the theory. Sarah Firth, RT, St. Petersburg.